Who remembers CDs? Compact discs. Discs of music with binary code etched into them to be read by a laser that were once a groundbreaking movement in technology. I guess they're actually not quite obsolete yet. But anyone who says they remember when they came out is either old or lying. Anyway, due to the nature of my older car, I am only allowed to listen to CDs. So, I decided I am going to start hoarding CDs, and I bought this plain black case to hold them all in. Honestly, the moment I bought this, I knew I'd probably end up decorating it. I think I had it for about a week before I began recording this video. Honestly, for the first several days, I struggled to come up with any design ideas at all. I thought about cute random little doodles, but I didn't want something random. I also thought about a galaxy theme, but with puffy paint, that would take forever to dry. And then I very briefly considered writing on it, maybe quotes or something, but that didn't feel right. After rejecting the very few ideas I had as I was drifting off to sleep one night, it just popped into my head. Splatter paint. So that's what these very sad markings you see are supposed to resemble. I think while I was doing this, I should have taken my own advice regarding the galaxy painting and to just make it completely randomized. After all, splatter painting is a very natural and randomized design. I wiped it clean after looking at this reference photo that proved that point. I also looked online for splatter paint pattern tutorials with puffy paint, but I didn't have a whole lot of luck, so I realized it was up to me. I covered up the edges in the center that I didn't want to get paint on with some washi tape, and then I just took the bottles of puffy paint, squeezed them, and flung them around. I will need to remember to do this outside for future reference. I did get some paint on my tablecloth and on my shirt at one point, but I was cutting it close to Friday for upload time and desperate times call for desperate measures. I was feeling very nervous and skeptical about this at first, not only because I was indoors and risked staining things permanently, but also because of the thick nature of the puffy paint, it wasn't exactly giving an actual splatter paint look. But this was probably the best I was going to get, all things considered, and I liked the color combination I chose, so I was alright with it. I thought it was very 80s, and I love the 80s. Well, I would have if I was around, but everything about the 80s seems amazing to me. So yeah, the color pattern alone was enough for me to want to keep it. After it dried, I removed the tape from the edges in the center and all the fabric parts, but I realized it was still kind of plain looking and it was missing something. Also, I was really bummed to see that peeling off the tape peeled off some of the paint too, but that was to be expected. So on the center fabric strip, I decided to put some music notes and symbols. I am somewhat embarrassed to say that I had to use reference pictures because you'd think that someone who was in band and chorus for most of their middle school career would know what these things looked like by now. But I think at this point we've all learned that I'm not normal, so it wouldn't apply to me. Using the same colors I used in the splatter paint design, I made an eighth note, a quarter note, and a slanted beamed eighth note. I then attempted to do a treble clef, and I tried to neaten it up, but I think I just made it worse. And then I proceeded to do a half note, which honestly looks a lot more like a lousy lowercase d, a beamed 16th note, and then I attempted a regular 16th note, but I just couldn't do the two lines at the top, and then I had the genius idea of trying to do a 32nd note, which was even harder, so when that failed, I just did another 8th note, which came out pretty good if you ask me. And here is the completed center strip with all of the music notes. It just has to dry now. So we started with this plain, boring CD case, and we finished with this CD case that looks like a bunch of crayons threw up all over it. Nah, honestly, it's not that bad. I'm not crazy about the thick, gloppy look of the top half, but maybe it'll grow on me. Overall, it's a unique design. It's something different, and honestly, I think it beats the plain design it had beforehand. Now I'm just putting all my CDs in it, give you guys an opportunity to judge and make fun of my very strange taste in music and closing it all up and getting ready to put it back in my car. And that does it for this video. I don't really have much else to say other than I will hopefully see you next week. Bye!